All right, going to show you a video where Jesse Morel literally tries to downplay the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross and says, oh, they, they put too much emphasis on it or whatever. Now I need to point something out. No, I'm not easy believism. No, uh, I've made videos against easy believism. In fact, in fact, actually, I've made videos against Calvinism. In fact, just today, I made two videos, back-to-back -back videos against Calvinism. I have well over 20 plus videos exposing Calvinism and I'll be doing many more in the future. Uh, but the bottom line is you have a false dichotomy of Calvinism, uh, the false doctrine of Calvinism, and you have the other side, which is Arminian, Arminianism, Pelagianism. Both sides are false. Both sides are heretical. Same thing with easy believism versus lordship salvation. Both sides are false and heretical. The biblical side is repentance towards God, godly sorrow over sins, obviously. And then the changed life comes after salvation, but it's not to be saved, as the Arminian Pelagians would say, but it's not some, this kind of morality lawlessness, morality less lawlessness, that the antinomian easy believist heretics say. It's a false dichotomy. But in this clip, Jesse Morrell openly, uh, you know, tries to downplay the finished work of Christ on the cross, says, oh, they put too much emphasis on it. Okay, watch this clip. So when the atonement was finished, the sacrifice of Christ was finished, people sometimes make too much out of the, what they call the finished work of Christ. That we're saved, they say, by the finished work of Christ. Well, the atonement is finished, but reconciliation is not finished. The ministry of reconciliation is still going on. And that's what evangelism is all about. Uh, so we must do something to be saved. That's another topic. The reason why Jesse Morrell does this is because he's self-righteous. That's why. Uh, salvation is not about your self-righteous work or you doing stuff to keep yourself saved. It's all of Christ. But of course, Morrell in his Pelagian heresy denies that. Romans chapter 3, verse 27 to 28. Where is boasting then? Is it excluded by what law of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. If you're, you're trying to save yourself... You're trying to save yourself by your self-righteousness. And, and they'll say, oh, we don't, that's not what we believe. When you really get down to it, that's what they believe. They can, they can try to deny it all they want. But when you really get down to the core theology, they're, they're boasting. They're saying, look at me, look what I'm doing. You know, It's not the same thing as the changed life after salvation when it's the Holy Ghost cleaning your life up, which is something the easy believers, believers heretics deny and reject with their antinomianism. But the, again, it's a whole false economy of easy believism and, and, and uh, lordship salvation. Both sides are false. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 9 and you'll see this theme too of when you're saved by works you can boast when you're trying to save yourself you can boast about about your self-righteousness Ephesians 2 8 and 9 for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast it's that simple Titus chapter 3 verse 4 to 6 Titus 3 verse 4 to 6 but after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior towards man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he, which he shed on us abundantly through, through Jesus Christ our Savior. It's, about, it's all of Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus Christ doing it, not of your own self-righteous works. Uh, Philippians 3.9 Philippians 3.9 9. And be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. There's imputed righteousness for you right there. All right, sir, but that just had a bit of an interruption there. Uh, but continuing on with the scriptures, Acts chapter 13, verse 38 to 39, refuting the Luciferian Pelagian heresy of Jesse Morrell. Acts chapter 13, verse 38 to 39, be it known unto you, therefore men, and brethren, that through, uh, through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. All things. And by the way, all sin is forgiven. It says in that thing, all things are justified. You know, so it contradicts again, once again, the Luciferian Pelagian doctrine by Jesse Morrell that, oh, you know, only your past sins are forgiven. Yeah, all, no, he says here in this passage, you're just justified from all things. Romans chapter 4, verse 4 to 6. And these are scriptures that uh, Jesse Morrell will not show people. Romans chapter 4, verse 4 to 6. Now to him that worketh is reward, not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works. 
and he's quoting from uh, Psalms. Uh, what was it? The Psalm. I forget the exact Psalm. It was. This isn't in my notes. It's just a little side thing. It's uh, Psalm 32, verse 1 to 2, is where Paul is quoting from. Now, I want to point something else out as well. It's Jesus Christ who sanctifies you, not you yourself. First uh, Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's Jesus Christ who's doing it, not you yourself. You're not trying to save yourself by your holiness, which is essentially what these guys teach when you get down to their doctrine. First Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 12 to 13. First Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 12 to 13. And the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men, even as we do toward you. To the end, he may he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness to, uh, before God, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, with all his saints. I do apologize, not good at reading on a computer, but we notice there it's Jesus Christ, it's God who is sanctifying you and making you holy and establishing your hearts unblameable in holiness before God. It's Jesus Christ who's doing it, not you yourself. Uh, but the Luciferian Pelagian uh, heresy of Jesse Morel will have you believe otherwise. And again, he'll try to deny, he'll say, oh, that's not what I believe. When you really get down to their theology, they're teaching a workspace, uh, je uh, Jesuitical type gospel. You know, it's no different than what the Jesuits say in their, their Council of Trans session, session 6 on the, the section on justification. So don't be deceived by the Luciferian, Pelagian, Jesuitical heresy of Jesse Morrell. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.